Hello everyone and welcome to another game of StarCraft. Today here in the top right hand side with the orange probes. Give it up for Tech. Our orange player, Protoss player. And his opponent in the top left hand side with the brown drones. Give it up for Shimmer. Representing Rev, of course. Tech over here representing Nom. One of the boys. Shimmer's a great guy, you know. But he you know, he's he's part of Revolution, which they're cool. We have no problem with Rev. But they're not the boys, you know. I want presumably overpool into hatchery here, it looks like. Versus Forge, Cannon, Nexus, Gateway. Nice safer opener here, as you see the earlier pool. One cannon's enough to hold off four lings. One cannon can hold off like probably about 30 lings or so. Depending on how easy it is for the lings to get to them. Alright, we're going to go three hatches. Third hatch in the wall already. Okay. This could be very interesting. Alright. Overlord is going to get here. Park itself in the main. Gateway coming on up here. Second cannon. It's like, huh. Alright, no gas. Third hatchery. You might just try and Link Flood me. You're going to build a second cannon. A Link Flood is definitely a possibility. Probe thought he could stand and fight. Unfortunately, he really couldn't. Four hatches on two bays. Shimmer, what are you up to, my man? This is a, um... I have some curiosities. I... Like... Yeah, this is a new one for me. I, I, should be interesting, I hope, at least. Alright, plus one coming on up here. Cybercore starting. Oh, finishing, I should say. This is a lot of larva to play with at this point in the game. Alright, creep colony coming on up here. Worried about potential zealot pressure here. Citadel and another gateway. Maybe he wasn't entirely wrong to worry about some zealot pressure. Tech does love his zealots. If there's one thing that man likes, it is the zealot. All right. All right. Our drone saturation. We got we got some drones. We got a couple extra drones, but it's fine. That'll change as we get this gas here. Drop a safety creep. Shimmer's playing super safe, super defensively here. He's got his layer coming. Second guess here to me implies that he's gonna go Spire, and try and play Mutas. I mean that's not a bad idea. All you see is gateways. You can see he's not going Stargate. Mutas here, S tier idea, absolute S tier. You know what else is S tier, guys? The land coming up here at the end of August, guys. Chat Starland, it's happening, it's coming. Whether you're ready or not, you better be there. It's going to be a bang in time here. Chicago, Illinois, Midlane Esports. All the information is in the link down in the description. I want to see as many people there as we can. I want them to complain that we packed the place out. All right. PCs are provided. All you need to do is bring yourself and a smile and ideally some pants. They might not let you in if you don't have pants on. That would be on them, not me. So I would suggest, well, I, probably shorts would be fine as well, or skirts, you know. I mean, you know what I mean. Be wearing clothes, but be there, all right? <laughs> all right, the Great Wall of Sunkins here. That's not breaking anytime soon. All right, we're just piling on the gateways here. Hydroden coming on up here. 
And Shimmer is really good at hitting that drone button. Like, we are 44 drones on two bases. <laughs> it's actually his entire supply is in drones right now. What? This man, absolute mad lad. Spire coming on up here. Couple of creep colonies. Oh no, my creep colony's waypoint is full. Whatever will I do? Alright. Muta start up here. Evo chamber. Alright, so. Anti, you know, just in case, you know, a Stargate has been built in this time. He hasn't scouted in a while. It might actually be really useful if this goes, if we go into drops here. I mean, we're probably going to play Observer, considering he's seen the Hydra Den. I assume we'll see the Observers for Lurkers, but if he does try and go Shuttles, this will help. If we end up switching into Stargate later, this will help as well. And this is something that you'll see a lot of people do at... I don't want to say at lower levels, because I, I feel like that diminishes how the players do. Because, like, they're not bad. Shimmer and Tech aren't bad players. But like at this level, you'll see a lot of people play very defensively, myself included. <laughs> and that's what Shimmer's doing right here. He's all in on defense. And now it's time to go across the map to see if he can get some damage done. It is an observatory. Oh, this is not the fight we want. Yep, he realizes that. He's like, oh, this is the fight I want. <laughs> this is the LOL easy fight. All right. We'll end up grabbing Goon. We've killed a few probes here, so now that worker gap is pretty noticeable. Probably isn't the place to trade out your mutas, though. And now, what Shimmer needs to do is just take, like, this base and this base and this base. Just take, like, the entire left side of the map, right? You have so much money. You have so many workers. You just crank that macro engine. You build up thousands upon thousands of hydras. And you just ruin his day. All right. Group Spine's coming on up here. Me just dive back in. Try and get a little bit more damage done in the army. Plus one range coming on up as well. All right, we are taking a third base down here. And we're just building a lot of mutas. Mutas are really good. If you don't know your StarCraft history, uh, when StarCraft Original came out, the Mutalisk existed, and nothing really existed to counter the Mutalisk. And Blizzard went, well, that's a mistake. And that's how we got the Corsair, the Valkyrie, and the Devourer. Because they want, we need things to stop mutalisks. <laughs> and that's it. He, your job is to stop mutalisks. And of those three, the Devourer is, I don't want to say useless, but very rarely seen. The Valkyrie was broken at the time. It only got really unbroken in StarCraft Remastered. Hello, Mr. Drone. Oh, he canceled this because a Zealot found... Or, I assume it was Zelda or something found it, but he canceled it. <laughs> oh, no. Canceling that base is actually just probably not great. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, Devour, not seen, Valkyrie broken, and then the Corsair, which is in use and still is in use today. All right. And while we always joke about that goons don't really do a whole lot of damage to Mutas, Eventually, if there's enough of them, they'll do it. Look at them. They're trying. But also, this is just A-moved mutas. God, they're good. And this is why the mutas needed a counter. <laughs> All right. Cannons joining the fight here. Cannons doing a slightly better job than Dragoons. 
Because even though they shoot the same thing, it's not the same thing. All right, third base coming on up here for Tech. Yeah, and if he can get this third base without any issues, which, of course, the moment I say that, there's an issue. He is... That third base goes up. It's going to be very good for him and very bad for Shimmer. This is Elliot here on a job to make sure there's no third base for Shimmer. All right. These links will get ripped apart, but there's a couple more in here. Uh, attack. Attack. Up the ramp. No. Okay. They'll get up here eventually. All right, here we go. We're trying to commit again, but I don't think we have enough really to commit on top of this position. Well, I say that. Another string of links come in. We have a couple of Archons, though. And Archons are really going to cause a problem here. They're good against links, and they're good against Mutas. Shimmer, really, his macro is starting to slip up a little bit here. And that could actually be a huge nail in the coffin for him. Oh, especially as Archons just rip apart Mutas. Third base going down here. He's got a lot of hatcheries here. Uh, a little bit unrallied, but... All of these guys on smoke break. This is the blunt rotation, guys. <laughs> that Archon's very angry that he cannot reach these guys. Uh, Hydra's very good against Archons. Muta's very not good. Yeah, three hits. Oh, Storm. Very good against Hydras, though. All right. Archon going to try and join the fight. Oh, no. Our hero Archon is dead. Oh. All right. But there's just Protoss rallying out units here. Is going to just be enough here, it looks like. Yeah. Protoss is holding. Shimmer is working on tearing down his bank here. He's trying to build these units. He really is starting to put in that effort here. That macro muscle. Urgh, show me that macro muscle. Alright, but the third base is up for tech. He's down in workers, but they're mining a lot more efficiently. You gotta remember, one thing about Zerg is that they don't benefit from more workers on a base than so like probes, right? They just kind of bounce around and they'll they'll mine overall kind of fine. I think it's what two and a half drone or two and a half probes per mineral patch. With Zerg, you want one drone per mineral patch. Yeah, this is a bit more than it's a bit more than one. And so it doesn't matter that you're up, you know, nine workers right now when you know. 20 of them aren't really mining at all. All right, yeah, and here we go. Archon Zealot Goon here. Pretty scary army. Especially when you're only fighting in clumps of Zerg. Yeah, Shimmer sees this army coming over here. He knows that he doesn't really have a whole lot to handle it. He's just not in a good spot. So he's going to say GG, and Tech is going to take the game. 